will do it just to promote fights as yeah, you yeah. do and you know a lot of people would be very successful in doing it that way but i genuinely believe that this is wholeheartedly uh, like one of them rivalries even after the last bell you maybe not see a hug you may not see a you know i'd like i don't know who do you think got the better at the war of words up there today do, do you think there was an upper hand to be honest, no, I didn't, actually. And I thought there would be a clear upper hand one way or the other. And actually, I thought both of them stood their ground exactly what they wanted to say. They knew what they were going to say. And uh, they were ready to lay it all down, lay it all out there. I don't think there's an upper hand, but I do think that, like, I think English people and uh, British people get Sav more. And I, I, I don't think, we, like, we're not, like, the kind of, you know braggish type of people stereotypically so we get Sav and we, we, we want Sav to do well because of the ways that she portrays herself and not I mean it's just confidence with Clarissa and she, she has every right to be as yeah. confident as she is but I yeah, don't think so, that so far it's all been backed up exactly. isn't it? it hasn't just been yeah, all mouth it's not just, it's not just yeah. all mouth but I, don't, I just think as, as, as a people we, we get Sav a lot more Whereas I think the opposite in America, like they yeah, don't get sad very much at all. Um, they don't understand her sense of humour either. So, yeah. yeah. It's interesting though, Tasha, what you were saying about Savannah growing in confidence, because I remember a few months back having a conversation with Savannah and she was saying that when she first started training with Peter Fury, he sort of predicted everything that would happen. And I remember at the time she was saying, no, as if, and as if that's going to happen in that time frame. But everything has come to fruition that Peter has said.